This is my first day solo, and I can use all the help I could get from the best fans in the world. And I know this is kind of a bummer of a video, so at the very end of this, I'm going to announce something of a bummer of Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, why is it doing this for? I'm to just, start this off. One, 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 one sec, one sec, one sec. Okay, it's loading now. <clears throat> uh, let's play. To start this off, subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, share the link with your friends, anything that will help the algorithm. This is my first day solo, and I can use all the help I could get from the best fans in the world. Am I the only person who thinks the beg is a bit too strong in the beginning? He's done nothing so far to give us any indication of to what he wants to do and how he wants people to support him. And it's just a beg straight away. Am I the only person who feels like it's a bit much in the first 15 seconds? Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. No one told you to quit your job. You quit it because you wanted to change. Okay, cool. Just start making shit. Start making shit and your fans will come eventually. It's like a... No, it's a bit, it's a bit much, isn't it? It's like... He hit us in the head straight away with a beg. Or um, anyway, again, I'm not gonna. Let's play. Feels a bit much. And I know this is kind of a bummer of a video. So at the very end of this, I'm going to announce something about Two Bears One Cave podcast that literally no one knows. Uh, not Tom. Not Bert. Nobody. Uh, and <laughs> with that, uh, I'm announcing that I'm officially resigning from my position at YMH Studios. <laughs> Why does he do that somber face like he's at, like he's, um, like he's in a fucking, uh, <laughs> like he's at the Hague or something, answering, <laughs> providing evidence for fucking war crimes? Like, why, why is he, why is he, why is it so serious? I will no longer be producing Two Bears, One Cave, Your Mom's House podcast, Dr. Drew After Dark, everything at YMH Studios. That's a lot of work, isn't it? I don't blame you. If you've done any editing, for people in the chat who've done a bit of editing, I've done some bits and pieces. Obviously, I do everything on my channel. And the stuff that I do isn't great, right? Some premiere stuff, but mostly I do all my shit on fucking iMovie. And it's fucking tiring. It's so exhausting. I can't imagine what it must be like when you're an actual producer where you've got like tracks and stuff and different camera angles, all this sort of nonsense you have to fucking edit. Editing must be one of the most draining jobs in the world. Like it must literally make you want to jump out of a window. So I don't blame him for for leaving. Like there always must be a cap on editing and being a producer. Maybe 10 years might be the max that you could do that sort of stuff on a day in, day out. Especially listen to the same voices. Imagine Chin. At least with these guys, they have interesting guests. They're quite funny, right? But imagine Chin having to listen to Brendan and Brian every single week maybe it makes sense why they don't edit the show then they don't really edit it too much but chin's a sociopath though quite like yeah fuck man it's, it's it's not an easy job it, it might pay well in certain places not if you're working at gas digital but it's not an easy job bro like to to be producing and editing all those fucking pods of all these fucking lamos and unfunny people i've been there for more than seven years and it's just Time. okay the fifth the fifth keith said i think it's dramatic because it's most likely a dream job for some it's probably not a bad job either it's a hard thing to give up no it's true no i understand what you mean you, you got a point i'm just trying to be funny there's a reason why like it obviously is a dream job for a lot of people um i i would never do it i don't think i have the patience to last that long don't get me wrong um but i definitely see if you're i don't know could you do could you be a producer to use it as a like as a to get your foot in the door to be a stand-up comedian imagine you try and be a producer for theo um and then you but you also you're an open micer and you maybe want to use that as a chance to get close to theo so that he takes you on a road or he uses it as your opener could you do that or is that a little bit too slimy is that a little bit too is that a little bit too try hard i don't know but either way it's a good way to get yourself in the industry and i'd imagine a lot of producers probably bounce around from podcast to podcast right like if you leave one, maybe one will take you on with some jobs as well because everybody needs somebody. Because the, the easy thing to do, and trust me, I, I've done this for long enough. The easiest thing to do, and I know some of you guys won't agree, is to do this. This is easy. This is the easiest part. Just sitting here, talking shit with you guys, having a laugh, watching cool clips, watching funny clips, watching dumb clips and reacting to it. This is the easy part. The hard part is having to sit there, 
having to make clips, having to write titles, do the thumbnails, all this shit, editing the clips that you put up, all that stuff is the harder part. That's what stuff that takes a really long time to do. The timestamps, blah, 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 blah. So he won't be short of options, you know? He'll be fine in that regard. So don't feel too, too bad for him. Um, and he's also, he's got an amazing CV, right? He's worked on one of the best podcasts on the comedy scene. They've got loads of other shows also that he does that probably he can show evidence of the work that he's done. So he'll be perfectly fine if he wants to. With that being said, here's what I'm doing next and I need your help. I'm staying in the podcast industry. I'm going to be creating content on YouTube about podcasts. And so basically he's going to do a random show. It's basically that's what he's doing, isn't it? He's going to be doing a random show, it sounds like, right? He's going to do a version of this show, a version of Joke World, a version of Uniques, a version of... Oh, who's my guy? Um, oh, who's the other guy that I like that streams? I forgot his fucking name. He's sometimes in the chat. But everyone's kind of doing this sort of thing, right? He's, he's going to, basically going to do it, a version of Red Bar. Interesting, isn't it, right? All of us on the outside looking in now all these guys on the inside are doing the same thing that we're all doing which is basically talking shit about podcasts <laughs> hey funny how things change isn't it funny how things change i'm creating content that i would want to see and i'm hoping that it's something that you would want to see too and if it is something you'd want to see i need your support i need you to go into the youtube description and click that first link which is my patreon and support me at any level that you can before you've even made anything. See, I don't know, man. This sounds very like, this sounds very dark side fillish. He wants your support for nothing. You've not produced anything yet. You just left the job. You started a Patreon and now you want money. This is a bit weird, bro. This beg is a bit weird. It's a bit heavy handed, isn't it? It's a bit much, brother. You haven't even done a, you haven't even put out a trailer, a little sizzle reel, nothing. Just. Please support me because you like how I laughed in the background of your mum's house. Give me money. Make me feel good. So I know I have like a... And also notice, keep this in mind, guys. Notice he's saying Patreon. He's not saying, please check out my videos when they come online. Give, a, give it a like, give it a view. He's saying Patreon. Why is he saying Patreon? Because it's guaranteed income. He wants to get that number nice and high so that number can somehow match his fucking um, salary. Oh, Nadav, man. I don't know, bro. I like you, but this is this is a bit this is a bit dodgy, bro. You're coming across very grifty, very shysty, very beggy. This is very low cowly. Very. You, you, he's even got the dark side feel face of like. The eyes open, the bug eyes, you know what I mean? The, look, guys, I need the help. I need it. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I got nothing. I got nothing. Please help me. I'm just a poor, 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 poor man. It's like, bro, just put out the content and they will come. And if they don't come, just put out the content anyway because it's fun. That's what I do. Like, that's what most people do. What is this, bro? Or maybe this is what you have to do. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should, yeah, let me take a, let me take a step back. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I don't promote my Patreon enough. Maybe I don't talk about donations enough. Maybe I don't talk about likes and t all that. Maybe I gotta like be really fucking, I gotta wear a t-shirt <laughs> that says like and subscribe. <laughs> I gotta start doing this. I gotta start, I gotta start doing that, right? I gotta start doing that. <laughs> so lame. That is so lame. Nadav, man. You know what, right? This desperation. Let me think about this first. Let's, Let's be fair to him. I think this desperation that he's showing now is probably proof enough that he didn't think through the quitting. He probably woke up one day and was like, you know what, I've had enough and just quit on the spot. This is showing that there wasn't really a plan to the quitting because he's now he's a bit nervous. He's like thinking, oh shit, I've got this place I'm living in. Uh, it's a certain rent amount or the mortgage is a certain amount. Maybe he's got a partner. Maybe his partner's about to have a child. You know what I mean? Like, he's starting to worry now. So it's proof that he didn't really think it through, the quitting. He probably just did in the spur of the moment because he woke up one day and was, like, pissed off. But he's really feeling like, oh, shit, now I have to make money. You know, I don't have my salary anymore from fucking your mum's house, which is probably decent. I've got a feeling Tom and Christina pay well. I think they look after their people. I think they look after their... I think even as Bert, you might not like Bert, but I think Bert also looks after these people. Like, he looks at somebody that pays well. Joe clearly pays well. Um, so that's a big hit he's taking, you know? But yeah, this isn't it, bro. I don't like this. you got to put a trailer up. Like, hey, I'm going to play this clip. It's on my Patreon. If you like what you see, please subscribe. But 
he, in the first 15 seconds, he started begging. And now he's telling you to subscribe to his Patreon that's got nothing on there. Stop right now. Go to the YouTube description and click that Patreon link and see what level you're comfortable uh, supporting me at. Uh, you guys are, over the last seven years, I've realized you guys are the best fans in the world. Oh, bit of manipulation. I've very man. fond of you over the last it's seven given years. It's given manipulation. I hope you've grown fond of me too. And Emotional have, manipulation. Please go to the YouTube description. Oh, yuck. Click that link to Patreon yuck. and support me at any level you can. On the more boring side, I'm also going to be doing some consulting, some for podcasts that you do know, some for podcasts that you don't know. And I've been considering putting together a masterclass on how to launch a podcast. Why would I buy your masterclass? Again, all due respect, all due respect. Why would you buy a masterclass from somebody on how to launch a podcast when they just happen to be the producer of two of the most famous comedians within that LA podcast space? Yes, you helped them launch it on YouTube and you were there in the background, but what do you know about launching a podcast? You worked for two famous people. Isn't this a bit DJ envious? It's like, it's like those things I told you before about buying seminars, right, from people. Isn't this a bit like crypto, scammery? It's a little bit on that kind of vibe, no? Like, you know, De DeFi shit. Like, why would you know anything about launching a podcast? You know, like, exactly. Hustlers University. Is that, it's a bit strange, isn't it? What would you know about launching a podcast? You don't even have one of your... You don't even have your pod... Okay. From what I know, Nadav doesn't have his own podcast. From what I know. He never did one on the side when he was at your mom's house, which makes sense because he's probably working full time, doesn't have the time to do it. But you don't have your own successful podcast. What can you tell anybody about how to launch a podcast? Let's be real. This is kind of scammy. Don't want to say that to be bad, but he's begging a lot. He hasn't done anything to ask for the beg. The beg's a bit heavy handed. And now he's launching a univ. And think, think about this stuff. He wants you to go to his Patreon. He's not telling you to watch his videos. He wants you to go to his Patreon. So he has a guaranteed amount of income that he knows he's going to accept. He's going to expect at the end of the month. He doesn't want to play any games. He doesn't want to wait for the YouTube AdSense shit. He doesn't want to get to a thousand subscribers. He doesn't want to play that game that I always play in other small creators play where one video might get 300 views, one video might get 2,000. It is what it is. You just make it for the fun of it. He doesn't want to play that game. He wants guaranteed income and he wants that number to be high. He wants it to be fucking lemon party high, right? I checked the other day. Um, big up Ben Over actually. They're smashing it because their Patreon is insane. They're like on 23 grand a month or something, which is wild. But big up them. But he hasn't done anything yet. He's doing a university thing, which is probably going to have a monthly price to it as well. So he's, you know, so it's, so he's pushing you all to the stuff that's going to be guaranteed income. Go to my Patreon. And he's also mentioned the university podcast masterclass thing because that's a guaranteed money as well. I want to give this guy benefit of doubt because I'm sure he's just panicking because he was working full time on a salary for seven years. And now suddenly he's having to realize, oh shit, I've got to fucking figure it out on my own. But it sounds a bit sus. If that's something you'd be interested in. Let me know in the comments and I'll get right to it. The next looming question that you probably have is, uh, what's going on with the marathon? And you're probably wondering, Nadav, are you running the marathon in a month and a half? And the answer to that, not yet. I've already gotten injured. <laughs> and uh, your boy is He's about to lose pussy. all of his health insurance and his entire injured. support system. My mom said I, I can't do it. My mom said, my mom said I can't do it. My mom said if I feel tired, I should just not go. My, I'm listening to my body. Uh, come on bro you can't be uh, yuck marathon I am going to be hospitalized possibly paralyzed and without health insurance that's going to be kind of hard to come back from <laughs> he just wants to be fat it's okay just accept your fat it's okay um, yeah 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 exactly exactly Robert Henry Perry. exactly he's trying to sell his, his old work which is kind of scummy, isn't it? Selling, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, who's this? What's this? Coiler says, oh yeah, Crump. Do you remember that Crump stuff? He's a massive hater, isn't it? That guy's a hater, bro. That episode after Ben Avery left on Patreon was, I think he deleted it, didn't he? Didn't, didn't Tim delete it? That episode was full of hate, bro. Please do not buy toe holds. This is my favorite show on YouTube, and I hope I never ever have to see your feet. Thanks for all that you do, AZ. We won't be alive without you. I hope this can last you till February. Madav sucks. I love the references. Big up Crash, you're a fucking legend. Big up Crash, you're a legend. I love the references. Don't worry, 
if I buy toe holds, I won't put any money in fucking um, Callum's pockets. And if I do wear them, don't worry, I'll censor it. I'll I'll do a little uh, Japanese porn pixelation on it, right? You know, Japanese porn is always pixelated. I'll do a little bit of that on it too, so you won't see my feet. Don't worry, mate. And yeah, I love the February fucking. Hit. I love I love all the notes you hit there for my fucking Twitter, my my big Twitter salary that dropped. You're a legend. Big up, crush. Look at that. That that is like give me money face, isn't it? No, that's the kind of face you do to your mum when she comes back home from work, and you wanna you wanna ask her for some money, but you also don't wanna seem like you're always asking, right? When you live at home, like, mum, mum, are you alright? Yeah, that's like give me money. <laughs> Look at his face. Give me money, please. I'm hungry. Me hungry. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> <sighs> so i'm doing this actually like a reasonable person uh i'm going couch to marathon the way a normal person would and i'm going to be documenting that as well so subscribe to this channel right now uh i'll be putting out like a docuseries with with episodes that shows my journey to fitness it just i've realized that it it's it feels too good to weigh less than I did a few months ago. And if I keep going on this train and actually live a better and fit and healthier lifestyle, <laughs> the longer I could be doing things that I like doing. Exactly, Cloud K20. The guy can't even use Google properly and he's going to consult and make content. Fuck out of here. But this is a thing that I think I miss. I really miss not having any shame. Um, I miss having self-awareness if i didn't have self-awareness i'd be probably way more successful and i also miss the ability to just grift with a straight face like imagine if i sat here and said i'm going to show you how to build um a youtube channel from like zero to a million subscribers when i just got 20k the other day and i've had this channel for like eight years why would you come to me but i'll do it with a straight face like I will show you how to become a successful DJ. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> you know, I, I I wish I had that. I wish I had the ability to just like grift and be like dead serious about it. Like, yeah, I'll show you how to become a millionaire, but you're not a millionaire. I will show you. It's like, okay, I guess. And I think that's a cool lesson for everyone, including myself. So I'm not running the marathon next month, but I'm hoping... In 12 months, 18 months, some who gives himself a 12 month timeline to run a marathon? By the way, let me give you some tips, guys, if you don't run. If you don't want to run a marathon, you don't have to. <laughs> There's plenty of people that go to marathons and just speed walk them through. You run a little bit, you walk a little bit, you run a little bit, you walk a little bit. 12 months. There's women, there's old ladies who can barely walk who finish marathons. And this young man who's probably in his 30s, maybe early 40s, is giving himself a 12 month training program. <laughs> 18 months. <laughs> He's a lazy shithead, but he wants money from you. Exactly, Cloud K20. 12, 18, never. But give me money. Give me money, but I'm not going to run. How about, I like if his fans said to them, I, I would love his fans to be like, you know what? We're only going to subscribe to your Patreon if you start running. If you, if you, complete, the, if you complete the marathon, we will sign up to your Patreon. Maybe that's what his fans should do. Something that a normal person who is my size could reasonably run a marathon in a healthy way. That's the way I'm going to be approached. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I said, yeah, that, that's what I've always done as well. Best tip to run longer distances, run longer than you usually Exactly. Run longer than you usually do. Have one, at least one long run in your week planning. Like I usually try and do like three times a week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays and shit. But this week has been not been the greatest. And then I'll do like a long run on Saturday or the Sunday. And usually it will just be like a long, slow run. But that's usually just to kind of build up my overall endurance. And like most things in the world, the only way to get better at running is just to run more. It's really it, it sucks to hear it because running I still think is one of the hardest things to do and I fucking hate it every time I do it. But it's also amazing after when you when you after the first mile and stuff you feel fucking incredible but when you got started the first 200 meters 800 meters is like oh you just want to give up but um marathons aren't that deep man plenty of people walk marathons like this guy is fucking crazy and i hope you guys tune in along the way and see how i'm doing because i'm certainly going to be sharing my journey so now the moment that you've all been waiting for you've 
sat through this huge bummer of a video to now hear this secret about two bears, one cave podcast with Tom Segura and Bert Kreischer. And that secret is that in episode one, me, Nadav Itzkowitz, shit his pants, shit my pants. I shit my pants during the first episode of Two Bears, One Cave. Uh, I was transitioning into keto, and uh, whoever's done that knows you get bubble guts, and either Tom or Bert said something that really fucking made me laugh, and it just created all this pressure in here. And in the middle of a laugh, pressure released uh, in the form of me shitting in my pants. Great secret. Never tell it again. What am I meant to do with that information? Oh, amazing. He shit himself. Bro, what is this humor, man? He could be making this up for all we know. We have no proof of this. Is there a picture? Is there like a clip of this on his Patreon? What, what, do, you, what do you want to do with the information? Big up Austin Are Casey. Are you going to talk about the video of Coffeezilla saying he has been in that fat subreddit for years? No, I didn't see that video, actually. I didn't see that. Maybe I'll do it for the next show. I didn't see that video. Did he say that? Really, Austin Casey? Big up Austin Casey. I appreciate you, bro. I didn't see that video. Oh, okay. That explains it. What are you doing here then? That 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 explains it. What are you doing here? He's a fucking he's a fucking amazing guy. But big up Austin, appreciate you, brother. I didn't see that video, but yeah, link it to me. Um if you're on a Discord, send it to me and I'll watch it. Pinpoint it when it happens, because I stop laughing in the middle of a laugh. Assess what's going on, and then being the good producer that I am, knowing the show must go on, I continue to produce the first episode of Two Bears, One Cave with pants full of shit. The show had to go on there and the show must go on now. So please go to the description of this YouTube Yuck. video. Yuck. Hit that Patreon link. Support me at any level that you can. Subscribe to this channel. Comment on this video. And what are you going to give us? He's asked a lot from the fans. What's he going to give to the fans? We saw, has, has he done anything? Let's go to his channel. What's he actually done? He's got 10 videos on here. Okay, he hasn't done anything for about a while ago. He's got that. He's got this. Okay, cool. So nothing really. Zero. Not really anything important there. So let's see his Patreon. What's happened since he put this video out? Has his Patreon gone crazy? Because I'm currently on what? I'm on like $30, isn't it? I've got the big bucks, right? That 30 and plus the fucking, the Twitter 20, I'm going to be fucking buying a fucking Lamborghini very soon. Holy shit. He's already making a grand. He's got, got one thing out. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. That begging helped, didn't it? He's already got a grand and he's not got one bit of content out. <laughs> Holy shit. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Fair play, man. The begging worked. The begging fucking... Exactly, Koyla. But Balenciaga fucking um, loading. He's got one, one post that's not even the content. No trailer, no nothing. Just I'm going to be making stuff and he's already got a grand. Shit, okay. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe I'm the one that doesn't get it. Fair play to him, though, isn't it? You have to fucking beg and shit. Fair play. It worked. So congrats to him. Let's see what happens going forward. I'm eager to see how it how it plays out. Will he do that thing where people like get loads of support early on and it doesn't follow through and then it turns into a bit of an issue? I wonder. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think he's going to follow through on his promises? Will he stop like, you know, he'll just leave the, he'll just start getting lazy and shit. I wonder.